Hey guys, how's it going? Still over here in Springfield. Let's see, I put the truck in on Tuesday. No, I put it in on Monday. No, it was Tuesday. Tuesday morning. I said it would be ready on uh, Friday. But Friday came and it wasn't ready. They still had the hood off of it. And it st still the hood wasn't painted. They had the new, uh, I guess they call it a fender. They stick it on the hood, they replaced the whole side of that hood. I went over there and looked at it and found it over there. It's over there at uh, Kenworth, right there by the yard. This mosquito's been bugging me since that accident. Here it is Sunday, and I got beat up on Sunday, and they're still killing me a week later. Oh, well. So I'm still here. Truck should be ready tomorrow, they say. I went over there yesterday and looked at it, and they had the hood painted, and they were putting it back on. And they said tomorrow they're going to finish up putting it together and put the graphics back on it and the deer guard and, and bring it back to the yard. So it should be rolling out of here. Well, I'll be ready for a load. Who knows when I'll roll out of here. But I should be ready for a load tomorrow night. But that's all that's been going on. It's been boring. Just sitting here. Been going to the to the yard every day on the shuttle. Because I ain't got nothing else to do. I don't want to spend a bunch of money because I'm not making any money. And I'm going to be in the hole like $3,000. So I don't want to spend more money when I don't have it. Because I got, uh, I got to pay Leo for the week. They still charge you for the trainee to the truck. So that puts me another $1,200 in the hole. I don't quite agree with that, but I don't know. That's the way it is. Unless you want to send them off the truck. No, I didn't want to do that to Leo, so. Just paying that. And then, uh. Last week I had all that work done on the truck. The DPF cleaning and the DEF filter. And I had them check the batteries. And... I think that was about all. Oh, well, they took the deer guard off and charged me for that. They say I'll get that back, but... I'll be surprised if it ever shows up. And then I'm supposed to put in for, uh... My, my, all my motel room bill to have it reimbursed from the insurance and I'm supposed to get paid for the lost revenue from the truck being down they said it's Mercer so I should get it because it's a big company that's self insured so I should get that once she said they'll look at the last Friday and go off that, but I was off that week, so I didn't gonna show much revenue that week. So I'm gonna have to tell her about that to like go back further or something. And the week before that I was on solo loads. So that one ain't gonna show. They'll have to go three weeks back to show a real team week. But anyways, I hope I get a chunk of money from that. So we'll see. I just been sitting around here waiting. It sucks to be off for a week and not be off. Sort of off, but not off. You're not off unless you're at home. I mean, I can't do the things I want to do. Sure would have been nice to be at home. But they told me it was going to be ready Friday, so there wasn't really any reason to go home because by the time my wife got here to get me, it would have been Wednesday. And then you'd had Thursday, and then they said the truck was supposed to be ready Friday. So, I mean, that would have been a waste of time. And then when I waited until Friday for the truck, and it still wasn't ready, it's still a waste of time to go home. But she wouldn't have been here till Saturday. The truck was supposed to be ready on 
on Monday. So then it would have been the same thing. I had to go home, but there was really no way to get there with how they told me how the truck was going to be finished. They said, uh, you know, Friday, and then they said to Monday. So I wish on Tuesday they just told me the real, the real answer, but I don't even know if they even knew. I think they try to give you the most positive, you know, estimate of time they can. But I wish they would have just gave me a real one. Cause I'd have gone home. But going home would have had its disadvantages too. Cause I took a pro maintenance class. Can't remember what day it was, Wednesday I think. And then I took uh, the logs class just for something to do. And then on uh, tomorrow I'm going to ACE2 class to get a deferred payment. So I won't be like $4,400 in the hole. So if I had gone home, I wouldn't have done that. So I guess it was a little beneficial. There were advantages to staying here too. And then, also, I've been over to look at the truck and told them where they're going to put a deer guard on it and the graphics on it. And they said, well, you came in without a deer guard. So when I got back here from home, if I had gone home, I would have got a truck with no deer guard on it. And I would have had to deal with that. And I probably would have had no graphics on it because I doubt they would have done that without me bugging them about it. And I got to see the progress of it. So I guess there were advantages to staying here. But it sure was boring. Boring, boring, boring. I'm only, only a good thing is I'm ready to hit the road. Because I haven't been on the road really since a long while. But I'd rather spend the time at my house. Oh, oh well. What are you going to do? It worked out this way. So that's what it got. It has to be. I'll tell you one thing though. I'm sick to death of North Star Grill food. That's all I've been eating for a week. Blech. Can't do it anymore. Nasty. Not nasty, but nasty just ain't good after a while it's the same stuff day after day after day but I didn't want to go out and spend a bunch of money and I was going over there anyway so that's what I was eating other than that I ain't got much I went to that logs class and they were talking about personal conveyance even with the new thing people are trying to misuse it and People just don't want to use it right. I, my opinion, they should just take personal conveyance away. I don't think they'll take it away though because I don't think they can. Because if they take it away, that's one step toward being a company driver and 90% of the company's lease drivers. So I think that's the major reason they don't take it away. Because, you know, that blurs the line between company and, and lease. Or between employee and independent contractor. So they, they don't want to take it fully away. But they want to monitor it. But in my opinion, they should just take it away. Because people don't need to be using it for what they're using it for. Majority of the people are using it to go to the shipper and get unloaded and then PC somewhere else. And really, you're using it to make money. You're using personal conveyance to make money when you're doing that. So it's not a... It's not a personal move. That's a move for, uh, it's a work-related move because you're using it to make money for an advantage. So it's work-related. It's not personal. It's not a personal move. But that's just my opinion. I don't think a lot of people like that opinion, but I don't use it any, anyway, and I haven't used it in a while since they started, uh, that new program I stopped using it because I just wanted to get used to not even bothering with it and I don't miss it one bit 
the only thing I ever used it for anyway was moving from uh if I was at a cheaper I would move from uh parking to the door but really that's a work related move so I shouldn't have been doing that but I stopped using doing it doing that I don't need personal conveyance really the only time I'd miss it is if I'm over here at the yards and I wanted to go to Walmart on a 35 reset or something then I'd then I'd want to use it but other than that I wouldn't miss it because I never use it I don't have any need to and everyone else wouldn't have any need to either they would get used to it but they wouldn't like it but anyway Nothing much else is going on. I've just been sitting around here. Bored. Tired of sitting around. It really stinks to just sit around for a week and not make any money. Really lose money. But that's the, that's the way leasing is sometimes. It really messes you up if you can't, can't keep the wheels turning. You go down real quick if you can't keep your wheels turning. Because so much expenses pile up real quick. If you're, especially if you're a trainer. You can have $3,000 plus dollars worth of cost just right off the bat. Fixed cost. A week. So you better get to moving. But anyway, that's about all I got. I'll fit you guys in when I get moving. Oh yeah, I've seen uh, quite a few people around that uh, recognize me. I appreciate y'all watching my videos and talking to me here. Saying hi. I like it. I'm a little shy though, so hope I don't come off, uh, I don't know, snooty or something. Because I'm kind of shy that way, talking to people. But I like that it. it gets me out of my bubble. Like, uh, if I didn't do YouTube, you'd never see me. I would just keep my head down. I wouldn't talk to anyone. I did that for years and years and years. I just kept to myself. Never talked to a soul. Except my family at home. Didn't really have anybody out here. So, it opens me up to talking to people, which is nice. But I still struggle with it. So, if I act kind of stuck up and untalkative, I, I want to talk. I just... I'm just shy like that. That's just how I am. But I try to get over it. I try not to, do, to be that way. And I enjoy talking to people when they come up and talk to me. I've had quite a few. It's been kind of fun. People recognize you. You the guy from YouTube? And I'm like, yeah. They get excited, kind of. I'm just a guy with a phone that drives a truck, just like anybody else. Stick this phone up and talk to it. But anyway, that's all I got for now. I'm going to go back to the room and call the wife and get some sleep before I got to go to that ACE2 class in the morning. I don't really want to go, but I'll do it, defer I'll do it for a deferred payment. I was going to go to this, the uh, Prime Safety Certification course. I don't really need to because I did it like four months ago. But they pay you $100, but... I guess the hundred dollars wasn't enough for me because I couldn't get myself to get up and go. <laughs> I just didn't want to get up. That's so boring anyway, that class. And then those simulators make me sick to my stomach, so I just stayed in bed. But anyway, that's all I got for now, so I'll talk to y'all later. And y'all have a good one. Y'all be nice. Take care.